Well, I got into this situation while at the intensive ward in Paris. He flew over, strengthened me, encouraged me. At that time, I knew because I knew the day I was going to die. I knew the time I was going to die. So his coming was very important to me because I thought I have something like, I mean, to tell him. He said, Mike, you are not going to die. The Lord will bring you back and God is not finished with you yet. He's still going to use you. And truly, I've always kept, in fact, I kept asking, well, Daddy, uh, Papa, very soon you'll be leaving. What are your plans about me? Then he would say, wait, leave it to us. Leave it to the Lord. So, beloved, the church has indeed been blessed. About a year ago, Apostle Wood told me something about uh, the, the election of our chairman. And he too said, the church will also remember you for having proposed, presented a very good man as a chairman of the church. Congrats, Papa and Mama. You will finish very well and you're going to add more legacies to the very many and numerous that we couldn't enumerate over here. I showed a question I had written to the IMD and said, ah, if I had a time, I was going to ask you, you have refreshed and revitalized worship in the church completely with not just the themes, but theme songs. In our time, the Lord led us in a different direction. We received a theme, break down the themes into topic, assign them to speakers, bind them together as a book. But he went forward that with every theme, he had theme songs. The Lord will provide us with a chairman, sure. Yeah, but somehow... Secretly in my mind, I said, oh, I pity the one who comes as chairman after this man. Is he going to be able to receive new songs? But I know that God has his own way of doing things. But my question to him is, in case the new chairman doesn't have the gift of receiving songs, will you be available, even on, result, on retirement, to provide us with theme songs? When you hear from the new chairman. Thank you very much. Thank you.